Hey, it's Vanner, and this is Finding Frequency. I must admit, it's the second time I'm recording this because I went off into a whole ramble about uh, politics and all kinds of things and anti-vaxxing and blah, blah, blah. But that's not what The Extraordinaries is about today. Today, it's about a little boy giving me kisses on my forehead as I, wakey, as I lay there waking up this morning. So my extraordinary wasn't, I didn't have to wait too long for The Extraordinary to happen. It happened right there. And it's unique because he's not like, uh, you know, going out of his way to hug and kiss his dad or, and mom all the time. We try and encourage that. We, we try and tell him that we love him and um, we show that love and we hug him and probably annoy him with too much of it. But I really want to smother him a little bit because sometimes I feel um, that, you know, I've, I observe some of the children around him and I don't feel like they are able to express themselves like Francie does. And I want Francie to, to know that we love him and I also want him to be able to express the same feelings towards his family and then, uh, you know, um, hopefully grow up more wholesome. We'll see about that, right? The little terrorist is running around here with his broken arm. Um, we kept him at home for two days because he's been uh, struggling a little bit with a uh, flu and we thought we'll be responsible, but it's insane keeping him here because uh, he wants to be entertained. So uh, we'll probably ship him off back to his kindergarten again next week. Uh, tomorrow, next week. I don't think we'll survive another day with him here. As much as I love him, you can't get any work done. But then also getting work done um, has been tough. Uh, I have a lot of things on my uh, plate and I'm um, surely and slowly chipping away at it, um, kind of still wrapping up some of the things from the bigger project that we are, we've done recently and uh, received some really great input from our project sponsors. And now it's really about just wrapping it up and deciding on what's going to happen next because the project was actually a lead up to some additional work that my client wants to do. Not necessarily with me involved, but let's see. Let's see what happens um, as we move into the next phase, but then also kind of hopefully wrapping up and, and closing uh, this side of the, the story, which I'm, I must say, looking back at it, um, it was tiring, it was heavy, um, but it was rewarding in the end, I think. <laughs> Time will tell, let's see. But yeah, so uh, and now it's about focusing and getting going again and um, thinking about what Marta and I will be doing. Um, we, we got notification today. So today's actually a good day because we got notice that we need to go and sign the documents for our new little country house. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a weird feeling because, um, you know, it's taken so long that we're now going like, not necessarily second thoughts, so I'll be go like, do we really want this now? Also, I'm finding myself in a bit of a strange strange time uh, financially. And then also, um, you know, we're kind of changing seasons at the moment. So it's kind of a bit of a blur time of year. And now this comes along, which should be good news. But then we'll have to see how that plays out. And then also there's this little bit of uncertainty about what's going to happen in the next couple of months. Because effectively, um, I have some business going forward but not tons um in my time off i managed to to bring in another client for, for whom i'm doing nice work work i'm really enjoying um so i'm effectively kind of working on two projects at the moment but not super intense which i think is also great because um i i think i i kind of crave this not so intense thing there's a there's kind of a personal project lying here next to me that I, I want to tackle for the next couple of months and perhaps having a little bit more of uh, flexibility to work on that could lead to some interesting interesting ideas and a direction for me. But it's funny, um, not to make this recording too long, that I also had a message from my dear friend Roman. Now, Roman lives in Liechtenstein. Um, he's someone who's uh, always, you know, kind of pops into my life when it, when, when it's needed. And in fact, he gave me a, uh, a, a memento from an event that he attended. Uh, it's kind of like a, a poster, I could describe it as uh, something that Seth Godin wrote. And he gave me this print. And 
it's kind of inspiration to, you know, put your head down, do the work, go out there, make a ruckus kind of stuff. And uh, I thought of it last night. And then a couple of minutes later, I just got this message from Roman, just wanting to know how it's going and, and what he's doing, um, what I'm doing and that I need to keep on doing what I need to do. Um, kind of finding out if I'm okay and also like words of encouragement. But then what is interesting about it is that for him, things are changing again as well. And in my response to him, I joked and said, listen, Roman, why is it that you and me, we always find ourselves in positions where we are kind of on the verge of reinventing ourselves. And I feel like I'm again on the, the verge of a reinvention. Um, I don't know why. Uh, maybe maybe I'm being a bit premature on that, but I feel like I'm on the verge of something new, and I but I don't know what it is yet. Time will once again tell because time, yeah, time kind of equals everything. But then uh, it's not about sitting around and waiting; it's about working towards that. Because a lot of the work that I've been doing earlier this year has kind of been stalling a little bit, um, with a kind of sudden stop. And now I'm trying to kick it back in. But it's also kind of a great opportunity to reflect on that and saying, you know, what of the work that I've been doing has been meaningful and has had a positive effect or what have I really enjoyed about it and what do I want to continue doing? And of course, during this time, it's not, not stopping doing what I need to do, of course, as well. And also appreciating um, those around me like Marta and Franzi. Because I, I tell you what, I am uh, kind of rearing to have a little bit of an adventure with, 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 with my two terrorists. I've been thinking about maybe going to Krakow um, with Marta and Franci just to enjoy like the late fall here in Poland because, uh, for example, today it was definitely cold, but um, the sun is shining. Um, and even now I'm sitting here, it's now uh, just go- close to 6 o'clock and uh, at the sun's setting but I can still see the yellow of the sun kind of touching the treetops. Um, definitely not keen to go out there, but definitely keen to rustle up a cup of coffee and maybe enjoy the last couple of minutes of, of sunshine that's out there. And uh, yeah, so the thought has been crossing my mind to see if we can't leverage that. But that all depends on the next week or two because um, uh, we are waiting for some funds to come in to... to uh, to, to kind of ship up and, and make sure that we can cover um, the purchase of this new property of ours. That's going to take us on a whole different adventure. So adventure awaits no matter how you look at it. What are you doing? What is, what is kind of happening on your side? Um, anything new? Are you reinvent, reinventing yourself? Or are you happy the way you are? It's that time of the year again. Thanks for listening. <laughs>